and welcome everyone to this Zero to Hero webinar. <laughs> My name is Adam Fletcher and I'm the Partner Account Manager here at Geotab for the UK and Ireland. I will now take you through how end customers of ours implement our solution to their business with ease. So the hero's journey, uh, we'll talk you through that, the basics of the journey, how to fine tune the journey, how to keep an eye on things during that journey, and we'll describe how you're not alone through the whole journey process. But before we start with the agenda, here's a few of the reasons why you should use Geotab as your telematic supplier. We are a privately owned business that's financially strong and has remained so through COVID. We are a world leader in fleet management with over 2 million connected vehicles worldwide. We act as consultants to solve the problems that UK fleet operators face today. And we have over 13 years of electric vehicle expertise. Uh, and with that, we can help your business in the transition to electric through our EVSA, also known as the Electric Vehicle Suitability Assessment. And finally, we have a strong commitment to R&D with 15% reinvested each year, bringing new and innovative offerings to the market. So we'll start with the hero's journey. Uh, first of all, let's start with the four ways fleets can help reduce cost. Safety. We can see here that insurance companies have reported out that they've seen a 45% reduction in accidents and a 50% reduction in insurance payouts when their customers implement telematics effectively. This represents between 5 and 25% reduction in their end customer's annual insurance premium. And let's move on to fuel. It's always a big topic, and rightly so because for a lot of companies, it will be one of, if not the biggest cost to their business. Market research has found that companies who focus on improving their em employees' driver habits, such as harsh braking, cornering, and hard acceleration, can see their fuel bill drop by as much as 14%. And let's move on to maintenance. By better planning and understanding of your fleet's needs, you can reduce the maintenance costs while ensuring minimal downtime. OECO reports that most of the cost for non-scheduled maintenance will cost the company between 300 and 600 pounds in profits per day. Using a telematic solution to reduce these unscheduled repairs can save companies as much as 14% on their repair bills. And finally, productivity. There are many facts and stats around this subject, but the most common one we see from our end customers is that by improving their productivity, there's an average saving of 12% on their labor costs. However, this webinar is not focused on ROI, but this is a brief reminder on how important telematics is to reduce costs and improve overall fleet management. You'll notice that each of the key points I've just spoken about represent between 5 and 25% savings for a customer who's using telematics effectively. Now we move on to the six pillars that we at Geotab build our solution and services around. We've identified these six uh, key areas um, of the cogs that keep the wheel moving. So let's start by looking at the productivity pillar. You can get more done by lowering costs, better customer service produced. You can identify unexpected stops, get accurate arrival and departure time, and more crucially, true trip miles, which I'll come on to a bit later in the presentation. Then we've got the optimization pillar. Drive your business forward with Geotab's fleet productivity solution. These two pillars actually go hand in hand because to be productive, per productive, you need to optimize what you're doing and we can help you with that. And then we move on to the safety pillar. Improve safety on both sides of the wheel. Take advantage of Geotab's fleet management solutions for the well-being of your fleet and those around it. Improve your driver's behavior on the road. Use our risk management reports to highlight where improvements need to be made. And by seeing something as simple as our seatbelt use, a dashboard can help you identify the drivers that are willing to take risks on the road. So if we look at the seatbelt part, if someone's not booking the seatbelt, chances are they're going to be at a higher risk when they're out on the road and we can help you identify those people. Then we move on to the sustainability pillar, which was actually launched earlier on this year at a global conference in San Diego. And effectively, that helps you make progress towards sustainability targets with telematics. We can measure the environmental impact of your fleet and take action to reduce your footprint. Let us help you reduce your CO2 emissions. Let us help you make informed decisions with true data so you can start the transition to an electric fleet. And we've got the compliance pillar. Use data-driven insights to optimize every aspect of your fleet. And finally, the expandability pillar. Break down barriers, expand your business, trust in our fleet management platform that's open so you can build on. Here at Geotab, everything we do as a business with our customers and our partners centers around these six pillars. 
A saying often used at Geotab is you can't manage what you don't measure. Essentially, what that means is any business running a fleet has to have tangible data to manage their fleet properly. So each of these pillars help our customers do that effectively because you can't be productive, safe and compliant, for example, unless you understand how your fleet is behaving in the real world. So let's start with the basics of the journey. The provisioning. So it's a simple installation process to provision. You simply open my Geo tab, select add device or quick import. Use the quick import feature if you want to add multiple vehicles at the same time. Add the vehicle or vehicles in, save, and it's simple as that. You're assigning the Go devices to your company's database. This will be done either by yourself, the installer, or by your reseller. Next, we go to the installation. The Go device can be easily plugged in uh, to any vehicle, as this diagram illustrates. We always recommend you use a harness, which I'll come on to next. But now let's focus on the detail. Once you plug the Go device into your vehicle, we automatically start to pull through all the rich data from your vehicle. You haven't got to input any data yourself. The vast majority of the data is all automatically pulled through. Things like the actual odometer reading, and we're taking that directly from the vehicle. The VIN, the make and model, and perhaps some even engine faults uh, that you wasn't aware about in your fleet. How I like to imagine this is pretty much anything your driver can see on their dashboard in front of them is what Geotab can automatically pull through. So why do we recommend a harness? By using a harness, the installation can be tucked away so it's not on show. The device itself won't be in an intrusive position to your driver. And the, the actual OBD2 port remains free so mechanics don't have to unplug the device or it's not easily removed by the driver. Essentially, the way I like to imagine the, the harness is it's like an extension cable. So you're saying, right, it's, it's not safe for it to be there or we don't want it in that position. You, we plug into the back of the, the port itself. You move the device to a different area and you can tuck it hidden away. Really simple install, no damage to the vehicle and it's quick and easy to do. To verify that the installations have worked for you, you can go to installmygps.com, fill in your details on the form, click to validate the install and you'll be told if it was successful or not. Really quick and simple process to do. But as you can see on the screen here, you can tell whether it's successful or not. And actually straight away, you can make sure that all your devices are online and working correctly. We've got get it up and running. So I've used the screenshot here of, of my own vehicle. And to get this, you can go to my gear tab, select the vehicles tab, select installation history, search the vehicles you wish to check. And as you see in this screenshot, here's my example where it failed initially and then was successful. In truth, this was my first uh, ever time installing a device. In fact, installing anything into my vehicle. Uh, as you can see, the first one failed, but it didn't take me long to fix that issue, and I did it in no time at all. So in summary, uh, we have gone through uh, the three simple steps in provisioning, installation, and getting up and running. Or as I like to say, you plug it in, we automatically start collecting the rich data from your vehicle, and then you begin to save money. Okay, so how to fine tune the journey. So for those of you that are on the go, we have the My Geo Tab app, which is available in both Android and iOS. This enables you to access My Geo Tab in the same way you would from your desktop. We also have another app called Geo Tab Drive, which is for the drivers themselves to use for things like driver ID, vehicle checks, hours of service. They can also use it to um, monitor how they're driving compared to others in the fleet. Now you can start to make my Geotab more personal and crucially more important to your business. You can start by adding users who need to access a system. You can set them at different user levels. You can give them different access rights. So you might have a person that can only see, you only want to see, sorry, certain types of vehicles within your fleet, or you only want them to be able to see uh, and not actually make any changes or amendments. You can do it by creating groups for things like the vehicles, what region they're working, what type of job they do or even by vehicle type itself. Again, you're ensuring here that your company can manage your fleet effectively uh, by using the data available. Then you can click add in zones, so, or geofences as you may know them. Um, so you can define, define an area on the map of importance to your business. Typically, people will add things like customer sites, office locations, or staff home addresses. Essentially, what you're saying is this particular area on the map, I want to know when some, someone enters, or leaves that area, or actually how long they're spending at a current location. And then you can create rules and exceptions. 
so you can be notified about something that's important for you. So as an example here, I use the speeding rule. So um, the posted speed limit of 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, you may want to know if someone's sped. However, if someone's doing 41 in a 40, is that data that you need to see? Is that data that you need to be told about? So this is where the exceptions part comes in. You can write an exception to say, I only want to know if someone's going five miles an hour above the speed limit, for example. And then you can also add a time limit to say, actually, if they do 35 in a 30 for more than 10 seconds, this is when I want to be notified. This is when I want the data to show in the platform. This enables you to have true actionable data. And finally, and most crucial to me, by customizing your reports and dashboards, rather than having the rigid one size fits all reports like most telematic solutions. Gone are your days of having to run three different reports, looking at three different dashboards to get the data you want to see. You can just easily tell Geotab, show me this data in this format, and it will easily be presented to you in a report format or a dashboard. An example of this, we've got the AdBlue report. So um, if one of your vehicles has got less than 20% AdBlue, we can notify you about that. We can tell you about that, and that makes it actionable for you to use. Marketplace. If you're looking to add more to your telematic solution here at Geotab, we have our marketplace. We like to compare similar to the app store that you've got on your phone. Um, most of our integrated partners can be found within our marketplace at a click of a button. And we're not precious about what company you use. So uh, we've got many integrated partners for things like DAX cameras, asset trackers, routing and scheduling, all the different um, solutions that you may use to manage your fleet. And you can find them within our marketplace at a click of a button. Crucially for you, if they're in our marketplace, the integration is done. There's no costly development. You just order what you need and enhance what you've got. So our IOX expansion technology makes it easy for you to add in additional hardware, such as the items we spoke about on the previous slide. Uh, in the picture, you can see our GoTalk device, which enables you to get near real-time feedback to your drivers. Wear your seatbelt, slow down, stop harsh cornering. Anything you want to notify your drivers about, you can do that through the GoTalk device. And this is just one of many examples of how you can add more hardware through the Go device. Within the SDK or Software Development Kit, you have all the information and the tools needed to develop applications, build and integrate add-ons, and use my Geotab with third-party solutions. As I mentioned before, we're an open platform. This enables more people to integrate with my Geotab. Crucially for you, it's free. It's in the public domain. So anyone who wants to start Integrating with Geotab can do that by using the SDK. It's easily accessible and they can start using it today. So in summary, for those of you on the go, you can use our app. You can make it your My Geotab by adding in groups, customizing your reports or dashboards for a better visual effect. And you can go to our marketplace or use the SDK to add in third party solutions to the My Geotab solution. How to keep an eye on things through the journey. Monitoring is one of those tasks that a lot of companies stop doing over time when using telematics. Here at Geotab, we make sure that you always see value in the data we are collecting for you. I mentioned earlier on how we can customize reports and dashboards so that data you see or receive is valuable to your business. And this is just one of the many reasons that our customers keep monitoring, keep improving, and keep saving money using our solution. We have over 2 million connections worldwide. Uh, and through this, we're able to give you fleet industry trends from the billions of data points we're collecting. Um, you may have seen through this COVID-19 period, we've reported out on dashboards, just showing how vehicles, uh, vehicle trends have been affected during that time, um, how they've been utilized, areas where we've started to see a kickstart again. All of this global information is available to you at your fingertip. Talking of data, um, we have the big data uh, format for you. Uh, with the data science package, you have access uh, to both your data, the aggregate data in a ready-made data lake. Every day, Geotab pushes raw, curated, and aggregate data to your very own Google BigQuery. Um, this gives you the ability to query all of your telematics data in seconds, pull in and analyze data from other line of business systems directly into your own data lake. Whether it's sales transactions, open data, routing data, or anything else, the ecosystem gives you the tools you need to be successful. Now, I've compared this recently to the situation we're in now with COVID, where you've got the local governments and you've got the World Health Organization. What they're doing is they're collecting data from multiple sources. So the different regions are in, the hospitals, the 
the R8 number, all of this data is collected from all of these different regions and they're able to collect that up and then make decisions that, that are effective. And telematics is the same way. So through big data, you collect all the data points that's important to you, you can analyze that data and then you're able to make informed decisions. So optimizing, it's all about making the most of the information you have. I said earlier, the term we use at Geotab is you can't manage what you don't measure. So measure what fuel your drivers are using and compare that against others within your fleet. Manage your fleet's maintenance by setting up a schedule, prioritizing what needs to be done, and in turn reducing the downtime. And get the most out of your fleet by comparing yourself against those in your industry or a similar fleet size. By doing this, you will optimize your fleet's performance. So in summary, make sure the data we give you is actionable for you and then monitor it. As a Geotab user, you have access to lots of data from lots of fleets, so use that to your advantage. And finally, then make improvements on how your fleet is run each month or year by optimizing what you're doing today to future-proof your business. You are not alone through this process. I think it's important to point out we've got many different resources available to you. We've got the Geotab community. This is the new go-to resource uh, to find answers and connect with Geotab experts online. There are many ways to use this site. You can ask a question, help answer a question, read articles or learn from your peers. You'll help and shape the future of the fleet management by doing this through the Geotab community. The actual community itself and support center provides the same high level quality answers and technical solutions from Geotab support teams, except this is it's instantly available and with the added support of the entire Geotab ecosystem. You can get tips, tricks and help your fellow Geotab community members. This is a 24 seven operator community. So there's always someone on hand to answer the questions you've got. So here we've got the Geotab YouTube channel. Watch videos created by Geotab through our very own channel. There's a plethora of content uh, here that you can choose from. So we've got anything from 30 second videos of how to right the way up to full length demonstrations. I personally use this quite often because I always find that if I can, if I want to know how or remember how to do something, there's always a video that I can go to that will remind me. Uh, and rather than watching a full 45 hour length demonstration, I can say, right, how do I do this report? How do I do that dashboard? And actually there's a, a quick, simple video that I can watch to remind me. Whatever you need to know about Geotab, there's always a video here to help you. Um, it's a great way to educate your employees and what you're doing as a company to stay proactive with telematics and actually ongoing training, you know, as reminders, as I just mentioned, There'll be people in your business that, that don't do something for a period of time. So as a reminder, the various resources we have, particularly the YouTube channel, there'll be video content there for them to use. So Geotab's blog posts are intended to provide information and encourage discussion on topics of interest to the telematics community at large. Our award-winning fleet management blog provides key information for fleet managers. You can subscribe to the blog so that um, any new content is emailed to you directly. So you don't miss seeing important industry specific information. So if you go in, type in www.geotab.com forward slash blog, and on there you can subscribe to the blog and that will push the information out to you as and when it appears. And then of course, we've got the website itself. So the Geotab website is your hub of every information. Uh, every Geotab resource is linked from the website so you can get to the previous channels I just spoke about from here. We've also got a contact page. So if you want to contact us at any point, you can fill in your details and one of my colleagues will get back to you. And then finally, we come to the end of the hero's journey. So just remember these three, four points. The basics is all about the simple process of install and getting up and running. You then fine tune your solution by making it your My Geotab. You have to keep an eye on things to make improvements and savings you desire. But as I've said, we will ensure the data you see is the data you need. And finally, you're not alone in this process as we have many resources as I've explained to help you through this journey and beyond. And finally, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Any of these cap tap points below that you can see, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter. You can follow us through these social media channels. We have our website where there's a contact form uh, and I've shared my contact details here too. So feel free to get in touch if you've got any questions outside of the webinar. Thank you.